exploratory data analysis, I recommend, uh, uh, this is sort of Tukey style, is JMP, which is now in SAS. And the last one I can't believe, but there it is. Uh, Excel is getting a lot better. Uh, my students have already always been able to do good graphics in Excel, and, and Excel didn't know it, so you know you, you kind of sneak it by. But there are obvious things to get rid of the chart chunk, like it puts out you know the all your cell, all your numbers are in a prison in a spreadsheet. So you make the grid the same color as the background, and you get rid of that stuff. So you can work around Excel, and so for almost all workaday graphics, uh, Excel is just fine. Um, and I don't recommend any of the kind of middle range uh, programs. They're still kind of little data programs like Excel. And I think you, if you do high end stuff, you should go toward the high end, the serious high end stuff, not the sort of middleware that you see in SPSS and things like that. Um, you don't want to buy into the little data graphics in Excel uh, or the chart chunk. It's possible to avoid that. And everybody has it. So I think that. You, can, you have to put up with it, but it can produce perfectly competent work-a-day types of displays, even though it's not a good source. Uh, a long time ago, my co a colleague of mine at the medical school and I wrote uh, a couple articles on the medical interface.